Welcome back to Flash CS5 basic training on using the tools that we have in CS5. We're going to be clicking on the pencil tool as you can see here. With the pencil tool if you actually press Y that will actually bring it up for you as well. Now some of the presets that we have is you'll notice that when I change my tools, I'll go back to the line tool for a second, it actually tells me my properties there's my line tool and these are the properties I have. So when I change to my pencil tools, there's my pencil tool and here's the properties that I have. So I can change the fill color, which is the stroke color I should say. I don't have to have a fill on here, it's not required. I can change the stroke, which is the size of the actual um, pencil line that we'll be using. I can either have it as a hairline, solid, dashed, dotted, ragged, stippled or hatched line if required. We'll leave it on solid. I can actually scale it up so I can make it horizontal, vertical, none. We'll keep it on normal. I can change the capping so I can either have none, rounded, or square. I can change the joins to a mitre join, round, or bevel if I want to. Okay, and you can also change the settings there as well. And you also have the smoothness scaling, which you can also use as well to change how smooth the line is going to be. Now, default is actually 50, which we'll leave it there. As you see me using the slider, I can actually go from left to right to change the actual stroke smoothness. Now, I'm just going to show you a couple of quick lines. So, first line, I'll just change here, it'll be smooth. So, when you click on there, you can see that's a relatively smooth line there. If I change this to straighten, it'll actually straighten my lines up. Now, it's not a perfect square, but what Flash will do is I go, you are trying to actually create a square, so we'll actually change that. Now you'll notice when you do a triangle, it's hit and miss. That one's actually worked, so it's not too bad. And even when you're doing a circle, it'll actually make those shapes a lot better for you. Now just like with our actual line tool, what you can do is any line that you see on here can be manipulated. So you can see I've just changed that there. If I'd like to actually bend my lines, when I move it close to the actual line, I can actually change the settings of the line. So I can make it look as though, there we are. I can make it actually curve the line as required. So if you need to actually make different shapes, you can do so quite easily by using your basic shapes and then changing them from there. So that's basically using the pencil tool there. Now, if you want to select a line, so say for example with this one, and I'd like to double click on that line and straighten it out a bit more or smooth it out a bit more, you can see I've got my smooth function here. I can keep smoothing until it gets rid of as many additional points as required, and that'll actually give me a fairly smooth line through there. So these are some of the things that you can, tools you can also use. So same thing, I can use the straighten tool. So you can see, you can straighten that out and that out. So what's going to happen is it'll come back down to a nice straight line. And so there you are. So you can always use those tools in conjunction with each other to actually straighten and smooth lines out as you need them. Okay, that's it.